Desmond John Morris is an English zoologist, ethologist and surrealist painter, as well as a popular author in human sociobiology. Early life, born on January 24, 1928 in Purton, Wiltshire, Desmond John Morris is the son of Marjorie and the children a Euro unregistered trademark S fiction author Harry Morris. In 1933, the Morrises moved to the nearby town of Swindon, which remained his primary home until 1951. During this time in Swindon Morris began to develop a strong interest in both natural history and writing. In 1941 Morris attended Dauncey a Euro unregistered trademark S co-educational boarding school for 11 to 18 year olds on the northern edge of Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire. It was during this time away at school that Marie's a Euro unregistered trademark S passion for both zoology and the modern visual arts began to intensify and come to the surface. After graduating in 1946, Morris was conscripted into the army for two years of national service. During this time, he became a lecturer in fine arts at the Chiseldon Army College, and also began to take painting seriously. In 1948 he was demobilized from the army, and that same year held his first one-man show of his own paintings at the Swindon Art Centre. Pursuing his interests immediately, that autumn he enrolled as an undergraduate in the zoology department of the University of Birmingham as well. Morris graduated with a first-class honours degree in zoology. He moved on in 1951 to the Oxford University Zoology Department to begin his research into animal behavior for his doctorate degree, mainly basing his studies on reproductive communication systems. In 1954 he earned a Doctor of Philosophy for his research and works leading to his doctoral thesis regarding reproductive behavior of the ten-spine stickleback. Sociobiology, after receiving his doctoral degree from Oxford University, Morris continued at the university conducting research on the reproductive behavior of birds. After some time elapsed, including Marie's Euro unregistered trademark S move to London in 1956, he thence began a research project into the picture-making abilities of apes. The following year of 1957 he organized an exhibition at the Institute of Contemporary Arts in London, all of paintings and drawings composed by chimpanzees. Later, in 1958 he co-organizes an interesting exhibition of which compared pictures made by the likes of infants, human adults, as well as apes. The event was called The Lost Image, it was held at the Royal Festival Hall in London. After assuming the position of curator in 1959, Morris' upcoming years begin to fill with strings and strings of books to be released on the topics of animal behavior, art, many centering on the topic of human behavior, as well as comparisons to primates. Viewing humanity as revolutionized from the hunter-gatherer to the city dweller. Morris continues on publishing books covering infant behavior watching, as well as man watching, and watchings of various types of animals such as cats and dogs. Morris works are published worldwide. His first book that concerned actual human behavior was The Naked Ape, a zoologist's study of the human as a revolutionized animal published in 1967. The book gained much popularity. Following its success, in 1968 Morris moved to the Mediterranean island of Malta in order to focus on preparing a sequel as well as freely painting and other activities. Shortly thereafter, with books still continuously being published, in 1971 he opened his research headquarters in Malta. Specifically, in order to conduct research towards producing an encyclopedia of all human actions, more specifically, to classify all human action patterns. However, in 1973 Morris left Malta returning to work for the Nobel Prize winner Nico Tinbergen, in his research group studying animal behavior, with the Department of Zoology at Oxford University. After some time elapses filled with more book publications flowing alongside various other attributes of Morris's careers, in 1982 he begins to look into archaeological researches for a new, slightly different book The Art of Ancient Cyprus. As creative minds wonder, Morris later the following year publishes a quite interesting book of ages, a year-by-year -year account of human life from birth to death. Finishing The Art of Ancient Cyprus the next year, 1984, published 85. Desmond a Euro unregistered trademark s following research project was conducted in 1988, 
respectively on the colors used in decorating human homes. The findings and data were brought together that same year within a report called Nest Builders. Throughout his entire career Desmond Morris has written almost countless books continuously on the observations of life, humans, animals and even paintings as well as children's books on the matters. Despite all of his other interests, the majority of his books took place under the category of sociobiology. Art, in 1948 Desmond Morris had his first one-man showing of his paintings, at Swindon Art Center. Two years later, he emerged into the surrealist art scene at the London Gallery. For the first time at an event held by the Belgian surrealist Edouard Messens. The event was also held with Joan Myra Cubed. The following year of 1951, Morris traveled to Belgium to exhibit his paintings at an international art festival. His next art showing was a Euro unregistered trademark T until 1957 when he organized a chimpanzee paintings and drawings exhibition at the Institute of Contemporary Arts, London. In the spring of 1967 upon release of Marie's Euro unregistered trademark S first human behavioral book, he also resigned from his post of curator held at London Zoo and thence became executive director of the London Institute of Contemporary Arts for only a year, until 1968 with the release of The Naked Ape, thus sending Morris on an absence from the arts world of over 20 years, while his sociobiology career took the front seat. In 1974, shortly after returning from his time painting, studying and writing in Malta, Morris held his first exhibition of his surrealist paintings since before the takeoff of his career in other areas. The showing was held at the Stushna Fine Art Gallery in London. Returning with a vengeance, two years later in 1976, Morris held four more exhibitions of paintings, including an exhibition holding 61 works of his from over 30 years, held at the Public Art Gallery in his former home of Swindon. Morris' next accomplishment in the area of arts is in 1987 when he combines his two passions of writing and art to create and publish his first book about his surrealist paintings called The Secret Surrealist, Introduction by Philip Oakes. His first showing of paintings after the book's release was held the following year in New York at the Shippey Gallery. Morris continues his showings to this day, with his works being documented and recognized officially by his biographer Silvano Levy and Desmond Morris, 50 Years of Surrealism in 1997. Morris has since traveled showing his art exhibits around the world, from his home in Britain branching throughout Europe. Including in 2005 a solo exhibit of paintings by apes from his earlier studies in the 1950s, the exhibition was called Ape Artists of the 1950s and was held at the Mare Gallery in London. Television and Film In 1950 Desmond Morris made his first entrance into film and television, writing and directing two surrealist films entitled Time Flower and The Butterfly and the Pin. His next officially noted stop in television was in 1956 when he moved to London in order to assume the position of the Zoological Society of London as head of the Granada TV and Film Unit. Marisa Euro unregistered trademark S job thus included creating programs for both film and television on the topic of animal behavior and other various zoology oriented topics. His job remained as a host for Granada Chva Euro unregistered trademark S weekly zoo time program for the following three years up until 1959. During his time period of this position, a total of eight years, Morris scripted and hosted a total of 500 zoo time programs along with 100 episodes of the show Life in the Animal World for BBC Two. During this time he also dabbled in radio for the BBC on topics of natural history. However, he left the film and TV unit at the London Zoo in order to become the Zoological Societe Euro unregistered trademark as curator of mammals. After a long break from the world of television, Morris re-entered the game in 1979, undertaking a new television series for Thames TV. The series was called The Human Race, focusing of course on the matter of human behavior. The show's filming ran on schedule and was presented on television in 1982, later the series was shown in many other countries as well. That same year, Morris traveled to Japan for another television expedition to make a production titled Man Watching in Japan, which was shown on Japan television in that autumn of 1982. After another short intermission, 
In 1986 Morris started working on yet another new TV series which was called The Animals Road Show. The show totaled 40 programs over the next three years, as well as a book published on the series within that time frame. On the show's second year airing, Morris began filming another TV series that was called The Animal Contract. The show aired for Australian television, wrapping up in 1989. Although the Animal Road Show ended in 1989 also, Morris and Kennedy reunited in 1992 to show a second series of exactly 14 half-hour episodes. This was followed by a third series the following year in 1993, with 13 half-hour programs. This was followed by a fourth series in 1994, and finally a fifth in 1995, all with Sarah Kennedy. In 1994, Morris also wrote then presented a series of six one-hour TV episodes for BBC One, called The Human Animal. This series went on to win the Cable Ace Award in Los Angeles for Best Documentary Series in 1995. The following year Morris began to work on The Human Sexes, a new TV sequel to The Human Animal, which was completed in 1997. Equals Filmography Equals, Zoo Time, Life, The Human Race, The Animals Roadshow, the Animal Contract, Animal Country, The Human Animal, The Human Sexes. Equals lectures equals, in 1964 he was invited to deliver the Royal Institution Christmas Lecture on Animal Behavior. Bibliography, The Biology of Art A Euro A Look at the Paintings of Primates and Their Relation to Human Art, The Big Cats, Part of the Bodley Head Natural Science Picture Books, Looking at the Habits of the Five Big Cats, The Lion, Tiger, Leopard, Jaguar. Snow Leopard, and the Cheetah. The Mammals, A Guide to the Living Species A Euro A Comprehensive and Compelling Listing of All Mammal Genera, All Non-Rodent Non-Bat Species, and Additional Information on Select Species. The Naked Ape A Euro An Unabashed Look at the Human Species. The book is notable for its focus on humanity's animalistic qualities and our similarity with other apes. Reprinted many times and in many languages, it continues to be a bestseller. The Human Zoo A Euro A continuation of the previous book, analyzing human behavior in big modern societies and their resemblance to animal behavior in captivity. Intimate Behavior A Euro An intimate behavior Morris studies the human side of intimate behavior from clapping to cutting hair, from the embrace to copulation. Morris examines how natural selection shaped human physical contact in and how intimate behaviors are expressed and or repressed in modern culture. Morris explains the origins of complex and mundane human signaling and body contact relating much of it to the prenatal condition in the womb and the experience of the protection and attention that children receive when young and helpless. Morris infers that most intimate contact is a variation or repetition of such comforting and secure contact which is expressed in thinly disguised forms from pats on the back to massage therapy. Morris describes an increasingly rigid modern society empty of typical physical interaction in public and how people compensate by enacting intimate behavior in other forms in private or through deviant behavior in public. Man Watching, a field guide to human behavior, gestures, their origin and distribution, Animal Days A Euro Autobiographical, The Soccer Tribe, Pocket Guide to Man Watching, In Rock, Body Watching A Euro A Field Guide to the Human Species A Euro Hundreds of Photos Analyzing the Human Body from Hair Down to the Feet, Cat Watching, and Cat Law A Euro A Study of One of the Most Popular of Household Pets Across the Centuries, Dog Watching A Euro An In-Depth Study of Man's Best Friend, Horse Watching A Euro Subtitled, why does a horse win and everything else you ever wanted to know? Animal watching, baby watching, body talk, the human animal a Euro book and BBC documentary TV series, the human sex as a Euro discovery BBC documentary TV series, cat world, a feline encyclopedia, the naked eye, dogs, the ultimate dictionary of over 1,000 dog breeds, people watching, the Desmond Morris guide to body language, the naked woman. A study of the female body, linguaggio muto, the nature of happiness, watching, the naked man, a study of the male body, baby, a portrait of the first two years of life, planet ape, owl. Major events, in 1951 upon moving his studies to Oxford University, 
Desmond studied under Dr. Nicolaus Tinbergen, a Dutch ethologist and ornithologist, who in 1973 shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine with two other scientists for their discoveries. Holds one man art show at the World Euro Unregistered Trademark S. First University Museum in 1952, in Oxford. In 1952, the journal Behavior published Marie's a Euro Unregistered Trademark S. First scientific paper on animal behavior. He produced 47 more over the next 15 years. Awarded Doctor of Philosophy in 1954 by Oxford University. His thesis on the reproductive behavior of the ten spine stickleback. First scientific book published in 1958, The Reproductive Behavior of the Ten Spine Stickleback, as well as a children's Euro unregistered trademark S book titled The Story of Congo. In 1983, Desmond published his first fiction novel, called In Rock, reflective of the surrealist world he created within his paintings. Said to be primarily aimed towards children but not entirely. In 1992 Desmond held his first one-man showing of his paintings in Paris. In 1996 an exhibition titled A Euro OE Desmond Morris 50 Years of Surrealism A Euro was held at both Stoke Gallery, and then Second Nottingham Public Gallery. Followed by a solo exhibit at Mare Gallery in 1997 to coincide with Desmond's official biographer Silvano Livia Euro unregistered trademark S book entitled Desmond Morris, 50 Years of Surrealism. In 1998 Desmond Morris is awarded the honor of becoming a Doctor of Science by the University of Reading in Reading, Berkshire. Personal life, when Morris was 14, his father was killed whilst serving in the armed forces. In a 2008 interview he said it was the beginning of a lifelong hatred of the establishment. The church, the government and the military were all on my hate list and have remained there ever since. As said in another interview, Desmond a Euro unregistered trademark s reasoning behind drifting towards the surrealist subculture is rather profound. In a time living as a child in the Second World War and then losing his father to the repercussions of that violence, an inner urge for rebellion against authority struck Morris. Surrealism started in the 1920s as a rebellion against the horrendous natures of the Great War. These ideas fit a Desmond a Euro unregistered trademark s current mindset quite perfectly, enabling him to create his own world for himself within his paintings. Painting he proclaims is his own personal pleasure, not business. So his rebellion ended up coming forth in other ways, more positive ways, not just within his paintings but within his desire to share knowledge throughout over 79 publications with the world. Not wanting to cause grief for anyone in other aspects, he decided to aim his energies in these more positive directions such as writing evolutionarily beneficial works. And so he did, as seen through his life accomplishments, or entire lists of works. Desmond's grandfather William Morris, a very enthusiastic Victorian naturalist is noted to have played a great influence on Desmond during his time living in Swindon. Interesting to note. William Morris founded the Swindon local newspaper. In July 1952, Morris married Ramona Balch, a history graduate from Oxford. Both only children, the two conceived their only son Jason in Malta. This occurred in 1968 following the success of The Naked Ape. In 1978 Desmond was elected vice-chairman of Oxford United FC. In 1981 Morris published The Soccer Tribe. Analysis regarding the world of professional football. Desmond reflected in an interview with the following quote, I also carried my message, about how fascinating animal behavior and human behavior can be, to an even wider audience by making television programs, and presented a total of about 700 programs over a period of half a century. I have now stopped that work and I am devoting my final years to the three things I enjoy most. Writing books painting pictures and traveling the world. I have so far managed to visit 95 countries and I have a schoolboy ambition to make that 100 countries before I die. See also, Dawn of Humanity, Sexual Selection and Human Evolution. References External links, official website including a complete biography, works by or about Desmond Morris in libraries, Desmond Morris at the Internet Movie Database. Dungeon Il Catus Catlaw by Desmond Morris, translated into Maltese by Tony Aquilina, Dias Lit.